Hi, hello everyone. Uh, can you hear me? Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm Ken Nagama from Hitachi America in US. And uh, I'm Non Kawana from Hitachi Limited. Uh, today, uh, I'll talk about the new identity architecture for blockchain and the Web3 system. And uh, that's based on biometrics authentication. The title is The Last Mile Problem in Self Sovereign Identity. And the subtitle is uh, Biometrics Authentication and Device Independent Wallet. Okay. Uh, let's start with the term of uh, self sovereign identity and decentralized uh, identity. The top of this picture showed uh, traditional central identity, you know. In central identity, uh, such as big vendor uh, GAFA, create and make and control user all identities. And uh, conversely, uh, decentralized and self sovereign identity. Okay. Um, user bring back to the sovereignty of identity from GAFA. And uh, see, uh, create and control our identity. And uh, uh, the important point of my talk, uh, she proved her identity. She used her smartphone within her secret key. And this secret key used the uh, PKI-based authentication. OK, uh, let's define the last, uh, last mile problem in decentralized identity. Um, you know, um, in this uh, conventional uh, decentralized identity, uh, user use smartphone to prove herself and using her secret key within a um, smartphone. So we think this is not a pure uh, decentralized identity. Uh, because uh, um, if she loses her smartphone, then uh, she cannot access her secret key. So she uh, cannot prove herself. So this is the first uh, disadvantage. And uh, so secret keys bind uh, her smartphone. Then uh, she cannot uh, use another device as authentication device. Because uh, another device, uh, her secret key is not installed. So this is the disadvantage. For example, uh, she go to shopping and uh, use her stores device to authenticate. Uh, but uh, stores device uh, doesn't have her secret key, so she cannot prove herself. Um, this is, uh, we think this is big problem. So uh, we'd like to consider what is identity and uh, what should identity be? Um, we think this is a very uh, important question for identity. So, uh, of course, this is not a technical question. This is uh, just my philosophy. What is identity and uh, what should identity be? Um, this uh, conventional decentralized identity is not ideal. We think uh, you can prove yourself without any device. OK, let's go to our solution. Uh, we'd like to solve this problem. Um, uh, our company, Hitachi, uh, make, uh, generating uh, user secret key from biometric state. This is our technology. And uh, our uh, application, you input your finger being data. Then uh, this application outputs your specific secret key. And uh, um, you can use this secret key as a blockchain secret key or as a PKI authentication. And the important point is our um, application entirely executes this uh, uh, over software layer. So um, for example, stores device installs the same application. And uh, if you do not have your smartphone, but uh, you uh, display your finger, then you can generate the same secret key using a stores device. So uh, our system is device independent. 
you do not need your smartphone. All you need is your finger. And this picture shows our core technology. And uh, our key generation application, um, you input your uh, biometrics data. Today, uh, we use uh, finger brain data. And uh, output secret key. And this is, um, you can use this secret key as a blockchain secret key. And uh, uh, achieve this uh, function, there are three difficulties. First difficulty is biometric information cannot be reconstructed from public data. You know, um, bi biometric information is very sensitive data. So if you, uh, it leak, then uh, big problem. And the second, um, biometric data from sensor always have a small fluctuation. So we have to absorb the fluctuation of the same pattern and output uh, the same secret key. And this is our technology. And the third difficulty, um, of course, uh, generate a different secret key from other person. So please note that uh, uh, proportion two and three uh, the trade off, Z between trade off. So um, to achieve this uh, three proportion is very different. So we achieve it. So Hitachi and our company uh, long time have developed this technology and we already uh, get many international patents. This is the patent number. So this is our uh, company's original technology. Okay, uh, let's stay to last mile problem again. Uh, in decentralized identity, uh, we bring back to identity sovereignty from GAFA. Uh, but uh, the conventional decentralized identity, uh, your identity is bind with your smartphone. Uh, but using our technology, you can bring back your ident the sovereignty of identity from your smartphone to your body. Uh, we call it, uh, this is last mile. Last mile means between your smartphone and your body. You can prove uh, without any device. So you can prove yourself in time, anywhere, and any devices using your phone. Yourself. And today, uh, we'd like to uh, demonstration. Uh, we apply our technology to Hyperledger Indy, and uh, we uh, implement uh, uh, biometrics technology in uh, Indy wallet. And user encrypt the wallet key and using uh, uh, at first, you, uh, user generates a specific secret key using our application and uh, using um, encrypt wallet key of Indy and store it to cloud storage. And uh, she go to a shop or other place, so she uh, download encrypted wallet key and uh, decrypt it using uh, this application again and use it. So this is uh, today's uh, demonstration, and she will show I explain now the current specification of Indy. Of Indy. Indy's, uh, Indy's wallet key is created at the same time created in the wallet. So when you store the credential, open the wallet, open the wallet in the wallet using the wallet key and store it. When export wallet data, using wallet key or export key and encrypt wallet data and export. That encrypted wallet data contains verifiable credential and secret data and so on. When import wallet data using wallet key and export key, decrypt wallet data and import. Now. 
In this time, we implement it this way. We use the biometric key to encrypt the wallet key. So, encrypted wallet key and export wallet data. All of this store the cloud. So, we can use the cloud wallet data and the wallet key using biometric key. So, import wallet data with wallet key using the biometric key to decrypt the wallet key and this wallet key use the encrypt the wallet data and import. So, we can use the wallet data using the biometric key. This is the demonstration scenario. Step one, we make an indie wallet and register biometric key. Step two, go to the Public Safety Commission and issue a BC of a driver's license. This driver's license BC has contains name and address and date of birth. Step three, go to the hospital and issue a BC of a vaccination certificate. It contains number of doses and date of birth and manufacturer. Finally, go hands free to the hotel and check in. Log in to the wallet and submit BC, this driver's license BC and vaccination certificate BC. Okay, I'll show you a demo. Sorry. <laughs> Please wait a minute. Only one device. So please image uh, there are many devices in here. <laughs> so yes. Sorry I can't prepare the any device. Yeah, <laughs> yes. So this is and, uh, uh, yes, uh, this is uh, wallet center. Thank you so much. Here is our wallet center tablet. Welcome to wallet center and create a new wallet. And then create new wallet, my name is Tachi, and register. Now, biometric key enrollment succeeded and wallet created. Now she generated her secret key and public key and public key register. Yes. And next, go to the Public Safety Commission, log into the wallet, name Hitachi, and log in. Use the biometric key. <laughs> okay. Now, I request for insurance of BC for driver's license, name, address, and date of birth. Now, my driver's license BC has been issued to my wallet. <coughs> Next, go to the hospital and 
login and issue DC. I request the assurance of DC. This contain date, manufacturer, and number of dust. Yes. Now my vaccine certificate has been issued to my wallet. Finally, go to the hotel. This is very sensitive. <laughs> um, I'm uh, sorry, a little bit dark here, so <laughs> sensitive doesn't work. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Now, my information is required for check in. So, credential to submit is driver's license and vaccination certificate, and date submit is name and address, date of vaccination, and number of doses. So, agree. Submit my vaccination certificate and driver's license. Now my document has been verified successfully and submitted. Thank you, Kawada. Um, very good demonstration. Okay, and uh, uh, I'd like to introduce uh, another age of our biometrics-based world. And uh, our uh, wallet can uh, <coughs> our uh, application generate hard secret key on software layer. So our system. Uh, so after using secret key, then delete from secret key from memory. So our system doesn't require secret key management device. Uh, for example, uh, smartphone or some uh, key management server like uh, Exchange. So uh, when uh, she'd like to use uh, her secret key again, then she input her uh, biometric data again. And after using that, delete from the memory. So our system. Uh, there is no very secure architecture. Uh, you may think, uh, what is the difference from traditional biometric authentication like uh, Touch ID or Face ID or iPhone and uh, all, um, the conventional uh, biometric authentication user input, uh, for example, fingerprint and uh, third fingerprint, there is start fingerprint and uh, calculate uh, the correlation value. And the uh, correlation value is uh, higher than some threshold. Then, uh, start secret key is activated. This is an uh, ordinary uh, biometric authentication. So in that system, uh, requires a key management device. So this is attack point. Uh, we think this uh, architecture is not secure. So our uh, biometrics by wallet is very secure because there is no attack point. Okay, uh, I conclude my presentation. My main claim is uh, the last mile problem in SSI. Uh, user bring back to uh, the solvency of identity from GAFA, uh, but uh, ordinary system. Uh, your identity is bind with your smartphone. But using our technology, you can bring back uh, the sovereignty from uh, smartphone. So we call it the last mile problem. 
and uh, our solution, uh, um, our um, solution generates uh, your secret key on software layer. So um, you can uh, use many devices as authentication device. And this is the uh, edge of our solution. And the next solution is after using your secret key, oh, the same thing. <laughs> um, delete from your know, secret key from the memory, then there is no uh, key management device, so this is very secure. So this is the uh, second edge of our uh, technology. Okay, thank you for your attention. Thank you for the presentation. Um, I have a question. If I understood correctly, you are generating the the uh, uh, the cryptographic key pair at the beginning and the registration with a with some biometric data. Uh, in the past, it has been shown that uh, uh, there there was, for example, an incident where during the Chaos Computer Club in Germany, by using high resolution photography, they uh, replicated with silicon the fingerprints of the Minister of Defense of Germany. So they falsified the, the fingerprint. Uh, in what you are suggesting here, I'm, I'm wondering what is stopping, for example, during the uh, uh, verification, so you, you put your hand against the device, what happens if it is malicious, overtakes your, your uh, biometric data, and then replicates your key? Then you have the problem that if this happens, you can, it can lead to a series of, uh, uh, how to say it, on, on false identity claims because I can get access to, your, to the key of your uh, cloud wallet. And consequently, since it's biometric, it's very hard to revoke. Would you, would you comment? Uh, you mean the... Uh, you mean the, someone stole my fingerprint, da uh, fingerprint data from some um, picture? Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is a um, disadvantage of all biometric authentication, you know. So um, today, uh, our system use uh, not fingerprint, finger brain. So a um, uh, little bit difficult to uh, malicious uh, uh, skimming it. So, but you know, at the um, um, you should. Uh, check your hotel's device or restaurant's device and uh, um, apply uh, ordinary malware uh, countermeasure. Mm. This is, a, you know, um, this is a, um, all this uh, advantage of biometric authentication. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and thank you for your help. And uh, yeah, and uh, actually, our uh, uh, product have uh, some liveness test. Yeah, so um, not so. Um, uh, so, 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 so yeah, um, uh, take picture. Only picture is uh, difficult to manage uh, to spoof. Is it on? Oh, yeah. Where does the um, decryption of the wallet uh, happen? Because if that happens, like at every place you go to, they 
technically have a device with your key on it, right? So wouldn't it be insecure because then you're, you would leave your key at all places you go to? Or does that happen in your cloud that you decrypt the wallet? But couldn't the malicious uh, like actor, like the hotels, malicious? Couldn't they just modify the software to yeah. not delete the key and just take it, and then my identity is stolen because they have the secret key, and with the secret key they can decrypt the wallet? Yeah. Um, yes. Um, we have to use uh, a counter media for my malware or the malware uh, protection. Okay, so you need like special hardware ah, yeah, yeah. or okay. Yeah, but uh, now we like to use um, not special smartphone. So yeah, thank you for your comment and uh, this is a uh, next uh, challenge. Uh, sorry, please uh, microphone and the uh, remote members. Need to know that uh, the software what you are using to uh, verify or even capture the fingerprint is it proprietary or open source one? Yeah, yeah. So original software is it? Uh, so is it proprietary one or open source one? Uh, not, not open source. Yeah, okay. Not okay. So you are just integrating the software with the hyperledger uh, in the. Oh. Um, yeah, okay. 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 Okay, thank you. Hi, hi. Yeah. Uh, so I'm from the FIDO Alliance. Um, I have a question regarding uh, FIDO um, multi-credentials and uh, Apple Passkey. How would you say that your solution differs from the Apple Passkey and the FIDO multi-credential? Um, yeah, usually FIDO is... Um, Like that bottom. So, um, uh, identified data uh, uh, storage uh, for secret key. Uh, we think uh, our technology can apply five system. So, because um, five system uh, you require uh, storage device for missing key. So, um, using our technology, you can remove uh, key device from five system. So, I think. Um, uh, our technology is suitable for file system. Okay. Everything clear? Thank you.